Hey, what's up? This is Matt Dietz, and this is Agency Launch. This is the podcast where I talk about what it's like to run an insurance agency. I have been an agency owner for almost 18 years. I have about 4,400 policies, and I run my agency with just two employees. So there's three of us here. I talk about sales and marketing strategies for insurance agents. I talk about how to staff for insurance agencies. I talk about how to give great and unexpected customer service. And I use my agency as a way to tell stories and to give experiences on things that work and things that don't work. So thank you for listening. Real quick, I am running a end of year flash sale for everything on agency launch. This is my broke agent Black Friday New Year's resolution deal. I understand that money is tight when you're a new agency owner. I remember my first folio, I made $204. And I'm trying to make my course available to those who really need it. So I'm giving 50% off for a limited time. Uh, this course, it'll run you what? What is that? Like 80 bucks a month, $80 a month uh, for, this, for this platform, uh, which is... An, it's incredibly underpriced, um, but I want to make it available to those who really need it right now. So if you use the code 2023 when you check out, you can get anything in Agency Launch for 50% off. So get in. All right, what's up? So I wanted to talk, if you guys go to my other podcast, Simply Explaining Insurance, I had a guest on, which I don't do a lot of, but I had somebody who does inspections for loss control inspections and work comp audits. And we had a great conversation. I split it into two different podcast episodes and they are there for you. So if you want to hear like best practices, um, go and hear the whole thing, but I'm going to kind of boil it down over here. I'm going to tell you some best practices on what you can do with your clients when it comes to these two things. And I will tell you that right out of the gate, it's communication. Okay, so first let's define a work a work comp audit is a payroll audit. It's a payroll premium audit. And what happens is at the end of a policy period, the insurance company is going to order a payroll audit to see how much payroll they ran through their company because that's the metric on what we on how we charge for premium when it comes to workers comp policies. So a worker's comp policy is very simple. It is a industry rate. There are hundreds of rates, right? Carpenter, plumber, florist, restaurant, clerical. I mean, there's just, there's hundreds of them. And each one of those has a rate. Okay, the more risky jobs, a roofer is going to pay significantly more than someone who is sitting behind a desk. Okay, so then they take that rate and they multiply it by the amount of payroll that they run through their company. Okay. So at the end, when with, with my company, the way it works is I would ask a business owner, right, how much payroll are you going to do in the next 12 months? And they tell me, and they would, they would give me an estimate. And let's say it's $300,000. At the end of that 12 months, my company is going to do an audit and we're going to see how much payroll you really did. All right. If you did more than $300,000 with a payroll, you're going to pay extra. So if they did 400,000, they're going to have to pay for that extra $100,000 of the payroll. If they did $250,000, they're going to get a credit, sometimes even a check. Okay, So that's kind of the quick 101 on how these work. What you need to do with your client, when you're onboarding a new client for work comp, you tell them all of this. You have to tell them this. Okay, You say, hey, look, you're going to give me an estimated amount of payroll, all right? but I'm going to tell you what, at the end of the year, we're going to do an audit. And when we do an audit, we're going to find out how much you actually really did. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check up on you in maybe 90 days or 180 days, six months in, and we're going to make sure that the payroll that you're telling me right now, we're on track for. And it's going to save them a world of hurt because a lot of business owners will underestimate their payroll, especially new business owners. Okay, they're like, well, I don't know. I think I'm going to do about 100000 That's what I'm planning. And then they end up doing like 220 and then they have to pay twice as much when their audit is done. So this is a service that you can provide to your new commercial insureds. You know, put a task out there that says, hey, 90 days, check up on John and let's check his payroll. The other thing you tell them too, you're like, look, if your payroll does increase, if you hire somebody else new and you bring them on this year, you got to call me. You got to tell me. Like I have coached all of my 
business owners to do this so that when they hire someone new, they call my office and they're like, hey, I just hired a new tech, add 50,000 to my workers comp. They know this. Business owners do not innately know everything that they have to do to, to run a business. Can you attest to that? You probably can, right? So let's, let's help them lessen their mistakes. Let's help them learn how to do this and um, check up on them, okay? It can work the same way too. If you fire someone, let me know. We'll lower your premium. Man, when COVID hit, I was calling all of my I was calling all of my business owners and I was like, Are you, did you have to lay anybody off? And then and like all my restaurants were like, we're down to bare bones. And we slashed payroll on all of my work comp policies because their payroll was reduced significantly for a period of time and that lowered their bills and that they really appreciated that. Okay. The other part of this is there something called a loss control inspection? And I'm seeing more of these, so I want to bring you up to speed. In the paperwork, when they sign and agree to accept a policy from you, in that mountain of paperwork and on all the fine print in their policy, it states in there, the insurance company reserves the right to order uh, an inspection of your business and send someone out to make sure everything looks good. Okay, so this is another thing that you can prep when you're doing a general liability policy with someone. You say, hey, look, uh, I just want you to know this, this mountain of paperwork that you just signed. <laughs> um, inside there, it says that there's a chance that we might do an inspection at some point in time. I want you to know that this is a service. I, I like to sell it as a service, right? This is a service that we provide to make sure that your business remains safe. You know, the insurance company is investing. Um, we have an we have an interest in making sure that we help keep you claim free, and so in order to do that, we order an inspection and we send somebody out there in order to uh, you know take a look, get another set of eyes on the location, you know, look at all the corners, make sure there are no you know uh, situations where maybe there's some slip and fall, maybe there's something that is flammable that's next to something that shouldn't be flammable. They make sure all your you know, extinguishers are up to date. They make sure if you're a restaurant that you're getting your filters cleaned and you have your hoods cleaned and your suppression system is up to date and your sprinkler system is up to date. So we send someone in to, to do this. It doesn't cost the business owner anything, but this is a nice kind of safety inspection to make sure that in the event that there's a fire, that that thing's going to go off and the fire is going to go out. Okay. And it's going to save the insurance company tens of thousands of dollars. Maybe you save someone's life. Okay. So it's good to have another set of eyes from somebody who's professionally trained to come in and do this. And so when you're talking about audits and inspections for anybody, people get kind of a negative feeling that comes with that. Because everyone, whenever you hear audit, you think IRS, right? Not the IRS. In an IRS audit, I've never had one knock on wood. Um, is not a pleasurable experience. Um, these are supposed to be something in order to help out your client. So this is to help your client keep their business safe, to keep their employees safe, and to keep their customers safe. And so that's kind of the way you got to pitch it so that when that letter does come or that phone call does come from some third party that says, hey, I need to do an inspection of your place, they know it's legit. They're like, oh yeah, that's right. Matt told me that this might happen. And sure enough, here it goes. And then you can, you can be involved if you want to. A lot of times the agent will get an email too that says, hey, um, there is an inspection that's been ordered for this business, then you can call the business and say, hey, heads up, you're going to get a phone call. This is legit. Let me know if you have any questions. And then when the inspection is done, if there are any things that are uh, recommended that they do, um, you'll get a report. Some of these recommendations might be critical. Okay, And if they're critical, that means that they need to be fixed within a certain period of time or the insurance company might not renew you. So if they're like, hey, you shouldn't hang don't put your gas containers next to your, you know, water heater. Okay. Move those or I'm going to, you know, non-renew you. So just simple practical things to keep them safe. So, um, I just wanted to let you know, I was never trained on this. These things just showed up in my lap over the course of my career and I had to figure them out. So I'm hoping to save you any sort of legwork, uh, where you have to figure out what this is, but it's a common practice. It's totally normal and it's part of what we do. So there you go. My name is Matt. This is Agency Launch. You can find me all over the place. I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Deets Agency, and uh, hop in my texting community at 208 213 8809. And uh, thank you so much for listening. Keep up the good work.